Wondering what you can do to get more views to your YouTube channel? Stay tuned because I'm going to share with you what YouTube has been rolling out and how it can help you. And while we're at it, if you want to know the mistakes that most entrepreneurs are making on YouTube, go ahead and check the description box below where there I'm going to give you the guide of the 10 mistakes that entrepreneurs are making. And I'm going to tell you how to avoid them. All right, here we go. My name is Anita, and I'm a video marketing and social media strategist, and I help business owners just like you get more visible through video marketing and content repurposing. Now, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that YouTube is my favorite platform, and it wasn't too long ago that I was making beauty videos on YouTube to try to help pay tuition through my college education. And while my beauty days are definitely in the past, I like to come to YouTube now to help to share actionable steps that you can improve your marketing and your business. Absolutely. I had to make a video about YouTube shorts. YouTube shorts is YouTube's newest rollout of short form content to compete with TikTok. To create a YouTube short, you need 60 seconds or less of vertical video. And this can be a video that is recorded right in the YouTube app and using the YouTube editor or if you already have content that you're posting as Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels on TikTok, you can go ahead and repurpose that content onto YouTube. That's right. Sometimes different videos that you release in this short form content fashion can do better on different platforms. For instance, I had a video that I posted on TikTok that didn't get a ton of views, but when I put it on my YouTube channel as a YouTube short, it got over a thousand views in 24 hours. And this led to a few people subscribing to this channel. If that video brought you here, I'm so glad you're here. And if you got here, not because of that video. I love all of you. So glad you're here. If you're not yet subscribed, now is a good time. All right. So maybe you're in for it of creating YouTube shorts. You like the idea of 60 second content because it takes the pressure off you as a content creator. But how do we get people to actually watch our shorts? Number one, you're going to start with a hook. So you're going to share some valuable information up front. To give you an example, in this video, I said that if you wanted to know how to get more views to your YouTube channel to keep watching, that was a hook that I used. In a YouTube short, I might use a similar hook, but I'm not going to be able to dive into all the content that I'm able to share, like in this video. So I might say something like, if you want to know how to get more views to your YouTube channel, and then I'm going to give the answer, provide some sort of value, right? For you, I want you to know that way is going to be YouTube shorts. And I could share that in a short form or in a long form, like here, where I'm breaking it down with more information. Whatever you share, you need it to be valuable. And it's helpful if you can give part of your story and experience, like me telling you my experience of posting videos on different platforms and getting different results. Lastly, you definitely want to have a call to action. On YouTube, you might say something like subscribe, but on every platform, you can say follow for more. This is going to give more longevity to your content because the people using the platform, they know how to follow you on that given platform if they want more. Now, you know, sometimes people are looking at the short form content and they're thinking, well, some of these videos I'm seeing absolutely take a lot of editing and a lot of creativity with a lot of music. And that might be something that you don't feel yet ready for. You absolutely can record 60 second clips simply by holding your phone and giving 60 seconds of value. Remember, it's important to go ahead and dive into creating because Reviewing the analytics, what worked and what didn't, that comes on the back end of creating. If you're not creating, we can't see what worked and what didn't and how you can improve. So I'm going to encourage you to take imperfect action today. Go ahead, record 60 seconds and upload it as a short to your channel. A few key tips I have for you, make sure to give it a title. And in the YouTube studio, you can edit the description to give a call to action, as well as adding tags to that video if you'd like. Now, if you want to go a step further, I encourage you to save all of your shorts to a playlist so that people can watch them. Short form content is easy to binge watch so people can learn a lot in a very short amount of time and they like it. I have a playlist on my channel if you want to check out my shorts. And to be honest, many of them were created on TikTok. One thing you want to keep in mind with TikTok 
is if you are incorporating music, that there is copyright that you need to take into account. While we don't see that as heavily regulated on TikTok, on YouTube, they absolutely do monitor for that. So regular talking short videos are going to do better. I know you don't have to dance. Now, if you like this video and you actually fancy yourself using YouTube shorts and would like to know more about TikTok, I want you to go ahead and watch the video on the screen. If you like content like this, go ahead and smash the like button. That absolutely tells the YouTube algorithm that you want more people to take advantage of YouTube shorts for their business. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.